This is the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated PG for parental guidance. There are those criminals that get out on bail and decide to skip bail and go on the run. For those individuals, there are people who hunt them down. They are called bounty hunters. And we are going with them to bring these criminals to justice. Sort of. And they are not always human. It's a price on your head, whether dead or alive. You can run, you can hide, you think that'll do you good. No, your duck will be brought to the light. Find you the darkest corner, the recess of the universe. We don't break, we don't play, it ain't the game. When we tear toes or bags, a bounty hunter on your head. We out of space, the outer space. We got room, most fear, so be afraid. So hope will no days you ever hear the bounty hunters. It's after you, it's two ways to capture. No funny business, no laughing matter. Everyone gets their turn before they done. You just made the wrong one. Everyone gets the turn before they done. You just made the wrong one. Everyone gets the turn before they done. You just made the wrong one. Witness. So, here's your five hundred thousand dollars each. She offed herself. Not because she wanted to, but was made to by some force, something supernatural. Well, that explains her friend down there. Must have killed her, then went over the cliff. Exactly. <laughs> Y'all got $500,000 more in your accounts. You happy or what? Possession? Yeah, by something. And the ritual? No clue. I'll ask her. Gus went to the ghost room. What was life like for you? Hard, like yours. Lorraine sits cross-legged in midair. Everyone was an asshole to me for no reason. I did everything I could, but nothing worked. All the people I know are, are, are fucking nuisances. Pieces of shit. They were asking for what they got coming to them. Like what? Broken brakes. Leaking gas pipes. Pits 20 feet deep. Trees cut down to fall onto their houses. Lobotomies. When they felt what I felt every day, it made me feel euphoric. They finally got what they deserved. Rightfully so. I know you got a job and everything as a bounty hunter. I guess this is some interrogation? No, no, don't worry. This is totally off the record. Oh, good. You're a good man, Gus Roscoe. Thank you. Someone floats outside the window, peering at the two of them. There's a look of disdain on its face. Well, that's all I need for now. I'll see you again. Gus returns to Joe and Mo. Lorraine watches him leave. There's nothing more to it. She's a bitch who killed herself and her friend. And the ritual? Hippie shit. We're sitting in the SBHA. This isn't some just a couple saintness. This is bigger than what it looks. Bullshit. You're done with it. You got a new case we need help with. Focus on that. What? Whoa. I thought it was just this one. Why are you distracting us? <laughs> you think I'm scheming? We were sitting ducks handling the rain. We're as equipped as the world is for a meteor. Someone told me. You convinced Lorraine to let you into her home. No one could do that here. We adopted the way of the demon in handling prisoners. Of course, it's illegal under human law, but here, no limits. So, when Jimmy is off being a badass, I'll be the bounty's therapist? Are you kidding me? And I thought I was the woman in this partnership. Gus, the way of the demon doesn't work on everyone. Someone spills shit no matter what even if you promise them a spot in heaven. You know the way of, I don't know, being human to another former human. Let me continue on with this case, and I'll... There is no case! It's just a Satanist who offed themselves! Nothing more! You know it is. Look, just... 
Just stop. For fuck's sake. Okay, fine. What's the new case? They receive the new case. They are assigned with Jimmy. After a few minutes driving from HQ, something white and floating appears. Jimmy hits the brakes. What the hell is he doing here? Guys, what did you do? Gus and Joe are speechless. Jimmy steps outside. Good morning. Get thy passengers out. Gus? Joe? Come on out. What could make Jimmy scared? Something stronger than him. We have to obey now. Agreed. The two of them slowly step out of the doors, looking up at the manifestation. I've seen this thing in my dreams. I think his name's Ramel. What thou mind seek to uncover is gravely dangerous. Turn back from thou quest, Gus Rusko and Joe Darcy. This is just some bounty. I speak of what thy eyes laid upon in the cellar. Why? Heed my instruction, or suffer for dissent. In a flash of light and a shockwave, Ramiel disappears. Jimmy looks back at the two of them. What's he talking about? They explain in the car ride. Heed his instruction, as he said. What we found is no ordinary thing. I know. Then why forget about it? You don't know what you're getting yourselves into. If an archangel, and I'm serious about this, gives you instructions, you best motherfucking listen. In my whole life, I've never met an archangel, and that's saying something. So we're right. About what? This is bigger than what Mo says it is. Yeah, you're right. But that doesn't mean it's a good thing. Okay, fine. We won't look into it anymore. Seriously? You. You're giving up. Archangel Joe. There's a lot of angels who could have done Remiel's dirty work, but no. He came in the flesh. And I thought you weren't like the rest of them. Turning a blind eye to bullshit. Sorry you feel that way, but I'm not changing my mind. Should be. They arrive at the bounty location. An abandoned building. They enter, all three flicking on their flashlights. Okay, we're looking for a little girl about seven years old wearing dirty pink pajamas. Seriously? Are we answering Amber Alerts? Pay's probably good. They don't pay you for finding us an adopted kid, you idiot. We have better things to do. Not everything is as it seems, Joe. I'm an example of that motto. <laughs> Joe steps forward, aiming her flashlight at the little girl. Hey, little girl. You lost? What are you doing? Doing what we came here to do. This is a bounty. Wrap your head around that. Someone put money down to find their kid, and I'm fighting that kid. Joe walks forward. <sighs> Wasting my goddamn time. We're not here to hurt you. We're here to help. No need to be afraid, okay? The little girl unfurls from her crouched position, stands up with her head down. Come on, we'll help you. What, what is that? Let's go. She sees rows of bodies kneeling to a deviled body on the wall, her shoes stepping on coagulated blood. <laughs> Gus
Gus and Jimmy make it outside, looking at the door, waiting for Joe. Why were you running away? It was all I could do. For a demon, you're a pussy. Do you know how long I lived, Gus? Do you know what I've seen? What I've lived through? My life dwarfs yours. You have no authority saying that until you've seen what I've seen. And you have no clue. Oh, what have you seen your mom and dad going at it? Wars, Gus. Wars. Saw all my friends walk through the face of death and get ripped apart. Saw the enemy stab kids in the face without hesitation. Seen people eat their friends in starvation. Seen people throw their little kids into vats of acid. Seen people throw babies to dogs. <sighs> I've seen shit. And that thing in there? You should be afraid, Gus. Joe's right. And that scares me more than anything. I'm going back in. I'm calling for backup. Don't go- We don't have time. Do you want to die? Do you want to be eaten alive? Sawed apart? Eyes gouged? Really think on that before you go and be a hero. She's my partner, okay? I'm going back in. I'll stay out here and I'll call for backup. I've lived long enough to know the difference between bravery and foolishness. And what you're doing right now, I think you know. Fuck off. Gus enters the dark building, not knowing if he'll survive. But he knows Joe would do the same for him. Sizzcast presents Bounty Hunters. Created, produced, and directed by Tom Young. Written by Joe Spirit and Tom Young. Starring the voice talents of Scott Kelly as Gus Roscoe. Victoria K. Mayer as Joe Darcy. Otis Brogdon Jr. as Shoot First. Peter Zhang as Jimmy Travis Tyler. Matt Coles as Moe. Ben Eckert as Froggy. Sean Joseph as Unknown. Aiden Morgan as Deadlock. Julie Hoverson as Lorraine Jensen. Connor Stanton as Wally Jensen, Demon, and Drew Kak Ugarek. Our audio editor was Clea Cullen. And I'm Frank Guglielmelli, the narrator for Bounty Hunter, Witness. a SizzCast production. Thank you for listening to Wednesday Wonders right here on the Mutual Audio Network. Please consider subscribing to other days of the Mutual feeds, including Monday Matinee for classic live and theatrical audio plays, Tuesday Terrors for horror audio drama, Thursday Thrillers for action, adventure, mystery, and crime drama, Friday Follies, our end-of-the-week comedy series, Saturday Story Circle for kids and families alike, and Sunday Showcase, bringing you the very newest in audio releases for the week from our United Artists of Audio, right here on the Mutual Audio Network. The Mutual Audio Network. Listening and imagining together. <laughs>